What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, Shania Charnel, and I'm back with another video. So today, um, I'm going to be explaining how I work full-time and how I go to school full-time. All right, As so for example, right now, I am a patient transporter, right? So I do patient transport. I work five eight-hour shifts a week, okay? So that's five eight-hour shifts. And also, I'll probably put something up, like, right here or something, so you guys can, like, see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm a patient transporter. I work five days a week. I have class two days a week, right? And then I have clinicals two days a week, right? Okay. So, for clinicals, we, right now, I have clinicals from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and that's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? Tuesdays and Thursdays and then for class right now I only have one class so this semester it is 8 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. so I have class from 8 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. okay but sometimes we be starting class late but anyways and then I work on the weekends and during the week obviously if I work five days a week um I would recommend getting a job that you don't have to work five days a week at because the five days a week schedule is not working for me. Hence, another reason why I just got another job. Like, I already accepted the offer letter. I'm getting my drug screen this week and everything. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, okay, guys. So, on the weekends, right, my work schedule. So, let's just start with Monday. Well, Sunday, since it's the beginning of the work week. So, Sunday, I work 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Typically, I don't stay over on Sundays because typically it's slow at work. So, that's an eight-hour shift, right? So, when I get off of work at 3.30, I get home like 3.45, 4 o'clock, right? Because I live right up the street from my job. And when I get home, that's when I have all the time to study. Like today, for example, today is a Sunday. So, like, after I finish making this video, I'm going to do some homework because they canceled class for tomorrow. But she still wants us to do some assignments so we can get credit for class, you know? So... Um, for example, like Sunday, I get off at 3.30, that gives me like from 4 p.m. to whatever time I want to go to bed. I can study from 4 to 12 if I wanted to, if I need to study. So that is how basically like giving you a little idea on how I work full time and go to school full time. You just have to make time. And it's like, dang, when do I have time to go out with my friends? When do I have time to hang out? Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. Like today, I could have went out with my friends had I done my work earlier in the day. I could have got my work out of the way and then I could have went out, you know, but I did it because I usually try to do, I usually do my work at night unless I have plans to go out just because I be procrastinating sometimes and like I just do better, do better stuff at night. Like I study better at night. But anywho, so yeah, so basically after 4 p.m. is study time and time that I have to like go out. Or just rest, you know, from the long week that we had. So now we're going to move to Monday. Monday, currently, I have class from 8 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. I'm not scheduled to work until 11.30 a.m. But typically, when I get to work, I, lately I've been doing overtime. So I work from 11 a.m. And then technically, I get off at 8. But sometimes I'll do overtime and stay till 12 a.m. Right? And then people are like, oh, well, how do you study? I make flashcards, I use Quizlet, I watch YouTube videos. Um, honestly, like it's all in between. You have a break, I get about a 45 minute break in total. I take my book out, I'll read it, I'll go over my flashcards, I'll go over my notes, I'll do whatever I have to do in between patients, in between picking up patients, I'll study. That is what you just have to do. Like, And again, I will show you guys in a video before I leave this job and in my new job so you can see the difference in my schedule. I haven't been going to the gym um, just because life has been lifing and everything, but I do plan on going back with this new job that I'm getting. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you guys how I fit the gym into my schedule because I used to go to the gym before class um, So and I used to do it. So I will show you guys how I do that as well. Um, and then Tuesday, I go Monday night, I go home, I shower, I go straight to sleep. Clinic 7 a.m. Um, I might have a coffee. They have coffee at the clinical site. I might have an energy drink, which is rare. I don't really drink energy drinks like that because they're not good for you. But I'll have a coffee, 7 a.m. Be at clinic. Um, at my clinical site, they don't care if you study as long as you're working. 
as long as you're taking the initiative, as long as you're being, you know, we're not talking about clinic right now, but as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, my, the clinical instructor at the site, she lets me, she lets me study. So that's another time you have time to study, study while you're at clinic, do homework. Some sites might be more strict. Some sites might say, hey, no, no homework, no, no nothing. And then you just have to find time outside of that. Typically, as like I said, I get out at five. Typically, I don't really like, I don't um, go to work after clinic. So if I get out at five, maybe I'll go to a coffee shop or something, somewhere I can sit and do my work. Because if I go home, I know I'm going to fall asleep. It's not even, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll fall, maybe I won't fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. Me personally, you may be different, but that is when you have time to study. You're not going to be able to get sleep. If you want to work full time and you want to go to school full time and you want to be realistic, and you want to pass and you want to get good grades and you want to pass the registry on its first on your first try you don't have time to sleep if you want to work full time and, and go to school full time and it's sad but it's the reality of it next <laughs> um let's see study and then you can rest um after you study okay wednesday wednesday i typically work 7 a.m to 3 30 p.m um, but again, most of the time I end up staying all night until 12 a.m. That's when you make sure you have your study material together. If you create your study material on a day like Sunday evening, right? Sunday evening when you actually come home and you have time to study and relax, create your study material. So that way when you are at work and you do have time in between your job to study, you have that study material made. You're not sh like, because for me, I like to handwrite everything. If you're an iPad girly, great. That's even better for you but it's not better for you if you have to work because you can't just pull out your ipad you're still going to need to create some sort of study material like flashcards quizlet on your phone something you can do on the go have your airpod in at work if they allow you to listen to a youtube video listening writing rep repetition it's how you're gonna remember everything that you need to know so you're just that's what you're just gonna have to do quizzing myself taking little quizzes making myself quizzes um stuff like that all right that's wednesday then thursday we turn around and do the same thing that we did on tuesday get up at 7 a.m right um we'll get up at 6 a.m because i gotta be there by 7 it depends on how far it is from you it's 30 minutes from me there's never traffic so i get up at 6 exactly but for you if you live an hour away you might want to get up two hours ahead or maybe more because just to be you know traffic you know but same thing Go to clinic from 7a to 5p on thursdays it's typically slower at clinic so i get more studying then i get more homework done right then i go home i might go into work for a few hours or i might go to a coffee shop or go anywhere and sit down and study because studying is very important and i need to make sure my homework is done i try to stay on top of my studies i try to get ahead on homework like weeks ahead like i don't play she gets down she don't play okay Friday, hold up guys. Okay, Friday, same thing as Monday. Class at 8 a.m. to 10.30. Work from 11 or 11.30 to 12, if they let me stay up, not 8 p.m., right? Same exact thing. So yeah, and then Saturday, I work from 7A to 3A to 3 p.m., right? 3.30. Um, sometimes I'll babysit after, or sometimes I'll stay over on Saturday. Um, or sometimes I'll go home. It just depends. Like, if I know I have a test on Monday, and I know, like, it's been a crazy week, I haven't had much time to study, I will go home and I will study, and, and I may need the money, but I also need to be able to pass, so... I just pick my battle with that. And when it comes to sleep, I don't get a whole bunch of it. Sometimes I get eight, sometimes I get six, sometimes I get four. You just never know. <laughs> it depends on the day. Like I'm trying to be as honest as I can with you guys. Um, Sunday, again, it's just a re repetition cycle. That is my schedule as of right now with the job schedule that I have. But this new job schedule that I have is even better. It's around my schedule. It's a I don't want to tell you guys the position yet, but until it's official, I mean, I've got the job offer. I know I'm going to pass a drug screen. I know I'm going to get the, you know, but I just want to make sure it's official, official. Okay. But yeah, guys, that is how I balance school and work. And then when do I go out with my friends? 
maybe we'll go out Sunday evening. Like I'll do come home or maybe my homework is already done before Sunday. So I'll go out with my friends and I'll have a good time. But it's not very often that I get to do that. I also don't really have a lot of friends. I'm not really from here where I live right now. So yeah. Um, but even if I did have a good amount of friends, I doubt that I'd be out all the time. Just because school is like my number one priority. School and my bills, obviously. Um, so yeah, if you guys need help coming up with a schedule for school and work, feel free to comment on this. Feel free to DM me on TikTok and I will help you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to record a day of my life video. I already did, but that was a Monday. So I record a clinic day and then when I get my new job... Ugh, I'll record those days because that's when I probably will start going back to the gym. I'm actually considering going to the gym in the morning, but I don't have any groceries. Like, that's just another struggle. Like, not having enough money to buy groceries while I'm in extra school because I don't make enough. Like, honestly, I'd recommend getting a roommate for x ray school, but we're not here for advice. If you guys want more advice on x ray school and have any more questions, please feel free to comment them and let me know down below or DM me, ask me a question. Um, if it's something I can answer quickly over text, I will. But if it's something I can explain better over video, I will. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. That is how I balance work and school and life as a full-time expert student with a full-time job. And I will be showing you guys more and more videos of that um, just for the rest of this time. So. If you guys have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you would like the video, you can leave a like. If you don't like it, then you don't have to. <laughs> and follow my TikTok if we still have TikTok going on. Um, and I don't know how long they're going to have us. Because anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.